Psycho Sally. Psycho Sally. Well, good luck. I'm sure it'll be interesting. Okay, I think I'll... Save... Save a clip. Yeah. I don't know, shall I? Shall I? Shall I stop speaking? I was going to just do videos. Um, <coughs> yeah, I think I'll just go on. from each team will be released to enter the match. The team with the advantage will be the first to have a member released into the match. Once all competitors have entered, War Games officially begins! The match can be won by pinfall or submission. Exiting the cage will result in a forfeit. Now, let the War Cap wanted a war, and now she has one. Introducing first, from New York, the Superstar! Cap has to be the worst general manager in Raw history. She puts herself in war games, and I heard it wasn't even her idea. Uh, rumors aren't facts, Corey. And besides, anyone who competes in this type of match deserves our respect. Cap is on a mission tonight. War games and Bailey is a ring general ready for battle and representing damage control from San Jose, California. Bailey, understand this Bailey will deceive you, she will stab you in the back. She will do bad things to good people to get that Women's World Championship. And that's why I love her. None of those things will make a bit of a difference once the door of that cage closes behind her. <laughs> Bailey's going to survey the battlefield, then her forces will attack.
War Games is a match with no rival. Two rings, one giant cage, and eight superstars ready to oh, risk it. Oh, here we go. The big victory. Not only is pride on the line here, Cole, but depending oh, on which team wins, we're going to have either Becky Lynch or Bayley as the number okay. one contender for Bianca Belair's Sorry. title. That's true, but first things first, no one in this match should be looking past the goal of surviving war oh. games. Ooh. Oh, with authority! Fighting on the steel platform where these two rings connect. Brutal as this is, let's bear in mind the match hasn't even officially started yet. Boom, <laughs> trapped between the two rings, still nice. beneath your feet. Not a great place to be, gentlemen. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Big splash. Splash. Oh, go for another one. Big splash. Oh. Connect. <clears throat> oh, my goodness. And the balance of power is about to shift with this upcoming entrance. <sighs> to the gut here they come looking to give their team the upper hand as soon as possible she's not going straight in she wants something from under the ring uh. giving her team the numbers advantage and bringing a bit of backup into oh. the ring. looks like they're bringing additional firepower oh. with them into what is now essentially a handicap match to the gut and giving her team the advantage but she's looking for her own advantage now or a pump handle pump handle coming boom incredible suplex climbing into the ring and pretty much entering a war zone oh you the finish already hoist it up disorienting spin and down we go does that finish Bay Mm. They can't beat, beat her though. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. She's starting to climb up the wall of the cage, but I have no earthly idea what? why. You're gonna leave me here. Yeah? Short jab. It's raining down those shots to the back of the neck. Time is ticking away. Shortly we'll have a fresh competitor to even the odds. You gotta minimize the damage. Go help your teammates immediately. Crafty way to get out of harm there. DDT plants them. Nice running crossbody. Shoulder tackle. Oh. from these competitors. Oh. Sending her over oh. the other oh. ring, utilizing the unique surroundings. Counters, this could be an opportunity. Bailey left an opening for the counter. No. Oh. Oh. She must have her pilot's license because she went flying into the other mm. ring. Counters that. Oh. Rich in the arm. Oh. kick. The crowd is counting it down. Next entry will tip the scales in their team's favor. Freed from the cage and heading toward the ring to give their team the upper hand. Far off with an elbow. And entering oh. into an absolute war zone, giving the troops the boost they need. Oh. Oh. 
Uh oh. Oh, it didn't go as planned there. No. Oh. Scooped up. What are we looking for? Crashing through the oh. What she's prepared for, I guarantee she didn't see that coming. Yeah, but to introduce a table into a match, we are all waiting for the inevitable to happen. Debilitating attack on the leg. Wait, wait, and troll up for my thing. Oh, down the that's now. not what I wanted. I'm the fucker, Charlotte. Dakota Kai. Uh oh, with the crucifix, chokehold. She's tapping. She's tapping, but oh, it's not no. in this situation. Door swing. Dakota Kai. Kick to the ribs. Thank God the bell hasn't won yet. Although I think the team would have won already. Chiropractor. Wow. Kai has this in hand now. Look at this. Come on. Right after the left arm. Got to hurt. I can hold. Oh. Found on the mail. She just went catapulting across the no. gap and into the other ring. No. Oh. Oh. 
Come on. Oh. Targets the gun to end the offense. Start the look at this down. Bad intentions coming with this hole. Oh, black. Almost a miraculous escape. And a side slip. No way. Anything. 
At this point, this is incredibly ill-advised. You're in the middle of a match. Whoa! She just chucked her over to the other ring. Lynch, she's thinking from the top. Things will get back to an even playing field with the next entry. Answer after answer for each other's offense here. And with the next combatant on their way, it looks like things are close to a fair fight once again. With the reversal. And clear the, clear the floor Stiff for Becky. Dominating Bailey. No. Oh. Now that was a very questionable attack. I think it goes beyond any gray area. Ooh. Bailey turns it around. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Suplex on the chair. Oh, no. Oh, maybe. again Got one more person. 
Should have kept my finisher. <laughs> oh well. I've still got another one. Oh wait, no, we still got someone. Uh Oh no, oh look at the body, look at how her body is. A body shouldn't bend that way. She has got to somehow find a way out. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Starting finish. But Becky Lynch, Charlotte Flair, and Psycho Sally. A huge feather in the collective cap of the winning team. A moment they'll remember for a long time. I still cannot believe what we saw here tonight. A lot of back and forth in this match, but you can't deny that the best team won here tonight. Becky and the captain are still celebrating their epic War Games victory. And why wouldn't they? You're now looking at the number one contender for the Women's World Championship and the GM who put her in that position. This will go a long way in shaping the future of the women's division on Raw. Shotzi? Is that a full-size tank? Oh, my God. Shotzi came prepared. I guess she graduated into something larger. She's not stopping. This is going to be bad. 
I don't want to watch, but I can't take my eyes off what's about to happen. Shotzi just picked up speed. Oh, She's going to oh, rail the cage. Stop. Into the side. And down they go. This is bad. I can't believe what just happened. We need some help out here, fast. Whatever her issue was, Shotzi took things way too far here tonight. What's Shotzi doing? I've had no problem with her. Yeah, I may have something to do with that. <laughs> Oops. Oops? I'm gonna be out for months. Is that really all you have to say? How about oops? I got carried away booking matches for forgetting to manage people. At least that seems to be the case, based on what I've pieced together. You're back. I was having a splendid time communing with the blue-footed booby of the Galapagos. But then, I caught wind of a few questionable developments. We should talk. I swear, I had it all under control. I watched Shotzi crash a tank into the War Games cage. Fair point. And perhaps, even more egregiously, you announce war games without me. That's my thing. I announce war games. I'm sorry? Respectfully, you're fired from being Raw GM. I accept. It wasn't a question. All that being said, with our newly minted number one contender injured, we still need a challenger for Bianca. You know, what you've consistently failed to nail down. I hate rewarding you for this mess. But I'm a much better GM than you are, so I'm going to make the right choice for the show. And unfortunately, there's someone who helped lead her team to victory who's rightfully next in line for the opportunity. You'll be getting the championship match against Bianca Belair on the next Raw. Harry is the head of WWGM completed. Um, right, uh, Um, here we go with this so-called major announcement. I'm afraid this is a good news, bad news kind of night. And I've always been a bad news first kind of girl. So here goes. With our fearless leader, William Regal returned, looking quite tan, might I add, the time has come for me to step down as your raw general manager. I actually thought she did a great job, guys. Are you kidding me, Byron? Well, at least it was exciting. All right, so there may have been some mixed opinions on my stint as GM, but I'm sure that's only because we all know where I really belong, which is fighting in a WWE ring. Not sure that's the only reason. Which is why I'm pleased to announce, given Becky's unfortunate medical status, at the hands of someone who William Regal has assured me will be dealt with, the real suits have decided to name a new number one contender for the Women's World Championship, me! Huge news for the Women's World title. And that championship match is happening right after all the confusion around Survivor Series, we're finally getting to see Bianca defend her championship. So, Bianca Belair, let's... This woman just will not stop coming after the captain. If her grievance was big enough to get her to take down the War Games cage in a tank, 
Did you really expect her to let it go? Hey there, friend. <sighs> Give it a rest, Shotzi. Haven't you done enough at this point? I think what you meant to say is, thank you for making me number one contender, Shotzi. Sorry you hurt your leg in that unfortunate tank incident. <laughs> Wait. How did you get hurt when you were driving the tank? Is this really all because I didn't give you proper credit for your terribly original idea of let's have a war games match at Survivor Series and didn't even put me in the match? But no, this isn't an isolated incident. This, apparently, is just what you do. Playing in other people's sandboxes, stealing other people's ideas, and jumping every line. You may have William Regal fooled, but not me, and not the locker room. Oh, I'm sure, Shotzi. Cutting lines might work in TBD, but in WWE, there are consequences. Bailey? That's Bailey's music, but where is she? Is Shotzi just playing mind games here? Bailey from behind. Shotzi's found an ally who's not okay with being skipped over for a women's world championship match. I don't blame her. It was supposed to be either Bailey or Becky. Cap weaseled in there. Wait, we're getting a call from the back. This is an official match. Here we go. We thought it was all over at War Games, but Cap getting named no okay. one contender. Okay, defeat Bailey. Certain members. My pinball or submission. Yeah, at least the ones who felt they were more deserving coming out of that War Games match. Um, Either way, Bianca Belair just got a night off. While two um, of her possible future opponents are going to tear each other apart. Here. The women's world champion is the real winner here. Snapmare could set something else up. Oh! Handle. Incredible height. Mm. And finds oh, a no splash. Oh. Uh oh. Nice job. Oh. Of course, if anyone happens to be enjoying the video so far, feel free to drop us a like and a subscribe. Maybe share the, the video out with the awesome as well. I would say stream, but my, um, my internet ran out. <laughs> Oh. Oh, no. I'm going after my arm. Uh oh. separation with a well placed kick. Oh. 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 A lot of energy left in that kick out. This matchup isn't anywhere near over. Oh, that could break an arm. Oh. Great counter impressive ring IQ on display there. No elbow drop for you. Bailey taking the brunt of it there. Yeah, but you can't count anyone out yet. This match could still go either way. Hooking it up here. What's next? Oh. Handle oh. suplex. Cover. We're gonna put this one away. Hooks the leg. Wait a minute. Using the rope. You get three already. Fights out at two. Oh. What does she have to do to put her away? No. I'm asking myself the same question. I have no idea. Not quite. Oh. Into the chop block. A debilitating counter there. Boom. Oh. Oh, it, Bailey. Thrown back in under the ropes. Oh. 
Oh. Oh. Can you believe this? I love it. Oh no, trapping the arm. Vicious stomps to the hand. No, no. Bailey oh. this one. This might do it if it no. counts. Oh, plan. Is Bailey closing this out? She fights oh. her shoulder up before one. How does anyone have this much in them at this point? I can't imagine what Bailey is feeling right now after that kick out. Utilizing oh. the top rope to inflict more punishment across the top rope. Oh. Arm ringer. Bang! What a punch. Oh. oh. Play a possum. Whoa, play a possum. Mm. An incredible victory for the captain here tonight. She certainly solidified her position as the number one contender. Shotzi from behind with that crutch. What the heck? She claimed she was injured. She was just pulling all our legs, Cole. Shotzi laying the boots in now. Compared to the tank, this is nothing. Finally, the referee getting control of the situation. She's using that crutch on her throat. Shotzi wasn't done. Russian leg sweep with the crutch. At least Shotzi's made her point now, and we can finally get on to the business of the Women's World Championship next week. I'm not so sure, Byron. Neither am I. Based on what Shotzi said earlier, I doubt that this satisfied her desire for revenge. She's on a mission. I know we're supposed to be on opposite sides heading into our matchup, but gotta say, I'm not a fan of how Shotzi shuts you down this week. This, this week. Yeah, and I'm not a fan of the other, of that either, or the crutch. You want my advice? Don't feel the tr don't feed the troll. Whether Shotzi likes it or not, you're the number one contender and I'm the champ. She's not in charge here. Say the word and you will get your title opportunity next week. Word. Word. I'm definitely saying the word. Then it's on. You'll regret it after the beat after I beat you, but it's on C C one war. Okay, okay, I'll stop reading next. Does it look smaller? Huh? That's what kids always say when they come back home, right? They go off to the great wide world, come home, and everything looks small. I haven't seen you around here much lately. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe a little smaller? I was in the neighborhood. Figured I'd stop in to get a few reps in before my big match with Bianca. Shotzi's not also in the neighborhood, is she? You know my insurance doesn't cover tanks. I don't think you have to worry. Tanks don't get great gas mileage, so she probably won't come crashing through the wall. No promises, though. And just when I was starting to feel nostalgic about you breaking things around here. How are you feeling after that crutch attack? I'm fine. Can you believe Shotzi's still bitter you didn't book her in TBD? And now she's turning it into a whole thing about how I stole her so-called war games idea. In fairness, it's you who didn't want to book her. What? Really? I believe your words at the time were, I'm not impressed. That 
does sound like me. But I was probably just being flippant. Being flippant without thinking that your actions could actually have consequences? Yeah, definitely you. Then, on purpose or not, Shotzi effectively brings you up to the big leagues, and instead of any sort of thanks, you steamroll right into a fantastical whirlwind tour of all things WWE. Let's be fair. I didn't steamroll right away. And Shotzi brought me to Raw so she could make an example of me. Maybe. But is that also why she pitched you the idea for a War Games match when you were GM? A match you thought was a good enough idea to book but then shut her out of? I never said it was my idea. Besides, it wasn't a groundbreaking suggestion. And everything worked out. Right, because I'm sure the WWE Universe saw the superstar GM announce the War Games match, put herself in it, and then thought, hmm, who else can I give credit to for setting up this awesome main event? It worked out for you. And now you get a championship match against Bianca Belair. Shotzi? Not so much. Jeez, whose side are you on, Geneva? You know whose side I'm on. That's why I gotta be straight with you, to make sure you get your head right so you can take that title from Bianca. You know, after ignoring WWE for so long, becoming their champion is the only thing I can dream of. Mmm. This is a moment of destiny for a woman who spent years crisscrossing the world and honing her skills before finally arriving in the big leagues of WWE. You can really feel the electricity in the arena, Michael. Waiting on the champion here. It's obvious Bianca's playing mind games with her opponent. Oh boy, here we go again. Shotzi's vendetta against the number one contender continues. And it looks like she's had about enough of it. No, no, guys, guys, it's not what you think. I have a seriously heartwarming announcement. Bianca Belair can't be here tonight. This is the second time the number one contenders match has been called off. No, I told you, it's actually heartwarming. Bianca was wrapping up an appearance at a nearby community center before the show, when suddenly, out of nowhere, three buses of adorable children from a local school showed up, excited to meet the women's world champion. And you know how Bianca is. She wouldn't leave until everyone got a picture and an autograph. How those buses showed up just in time to prevent Bianca from making it here for her championship match tonight, we may never know. But Bianca just couldn't leave those sweet children hanging. Are you seriously booing children? Wow, what a bloodthirsty bunch you all are. I did feel bad that you didn't have a match anymore tonight, though. Oh no, it's not me. I have the night off from in-ring action, just like at War Games. But these three women do not. Oh my, the cap has history with all these women. And we're getting word from the truck that she'll be facing them in a fatal four-way. I think she said to bring it on. Easy to say, harder to survive. Shotzi's curated a formidable challenge for the number one contender. Honestly, I'm just impressed that Shotzi managed to curate this match and three busloads of children in the same day. What? That was Shotzi? For God's sakes, catch up, Byron. Nonetheless, this is going to be a huge fatal four-way contest here on Raw. Oh, no.
Like you said, Corey, oh, faithful four way. We thought it was going to end up being a three on one handicap. Or something. Make it to her title match with Bianca Belair. I think that's Shotzi's exact goal, Saxton. Liv's got a hold of her. STO takedown. Oh. No count out as she takes this fight to the floor. Oh, brutal form. Oh, look at this. Show it off with a big flex. And then a, oh, and a stop right to the back. Oh, I hope they back up. They're, they're getting no. too close for comfort. Oh, no one's paying attention to you, Saxon. They're too busy oh, no. beating the tar out of each other. Run out of ringside and back to the mat. Oh. What? There's a crucifix. I did live to throw me in the ring and run right back to me. Strikes with a kick. Oh. in this situation don't last long let's see how quickly this devolves Ooh. looking wobbly in the corner nice monkey flip power slam she thinks she has it and there's the breakup just in the nick of time oh uh, maybe i should have mm. Shoulder up seemed to be pretty easy. And Liv's usual persistence only got squished there. Oh. And she's stunned in the corner. Break the jaw. Ugh, what a shot. How's that for a counter? Use an elbow to oh. disrupt that attack. That unraveled on Oscar. That last attack pushed oh. out the limits of Oscar's resilience. And the fatal four-way stipulation no. starting to show its effects here. Then we have Liv Morgan. Oh, and an inadvertent shot hits the referee. Jumping complete shot. Liv could have this one. Broke it up. And the match continues. And she gets herself out of a precarious position. Uh-oh, watch out! Double rusted leg sweep! Man. Section. Net breaker. Shoulder tackle. Nice takedown. Stack them up. Well, no. uh, you have to question this decision. Oh. That could have been it right there. Oh. Meanwhile, here's Rhea. Darn it. A big kick uh -oh. to the gut and a thunderous forearm to follow. Oh, step up in Zagari. Oh. Ooh, look at her answer. 
answering back. Able to elude it. Oh, man. Oh. The snap of the kendo stick. Oh no. oh no. There we go. Utilizing the top rope to inflict more punishment across the top rope. Uh oh, look at what are they going to do? Oh, right to the face. Right to the back of the neck. And again. Enough. Oh. Elbow puts an end to that. Hooking it up here. What's next? Some trouble now. This deep into a oh. forward match, it's a wonder they're not more banged up. But the grueling nature of this match is definitely getting to them now, gentlemen. No. Caught with that shot. Kick to the gut by Ripley. Oh. Followed by Riptide. Wow, Ripley got her. And now Asuka goes down low with the drop kick. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Oh. She pops the shoulder up in one. She is still in this fight. Ah, drop toe hole. Base first. Ah, oh, what a neck breaker. Boom. Oh. This clutch applied. Uh oh And she kicks out right away. Incredible power to kick out at just one. Uh oh Endless kicks to the gut. And grab with a hail too. She avoids the contact. What a punch. Time to end this. Uh oh. Oh, shoot. Oh. No. Oh. Asuka with the Asuka lock. The Asuka lock. Oh, breaking it up at the last second. Hold on. She could be looking for a submission. Uh oh. Here. No. She shoots up the top rope. Dangerous thinking. Oh. Trip, gentlemen, straight down to the two face breaker. Jumping complete shot. Cover. Oh, and the count's broken, keeping the match alive. It's not over yet. Oh, man. Connects to the back of the neck. Oh. No. And women. Great display of power. The Tetley German suplex. Uh oh. Classic combination. Oh, the roundhouse. Lights out. She's going for it. Mm -hmm. And Oscar wins. Oh, no. Here is your winner, Oscar. Big loss for Cap tonight. I think this one took her by surprise. Cap had really been building some momentum with the WWE Universe, but this could stop it cold. We saw a tremendous amount of heart from all four of these women tonight.